Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be talking about 18650 batteries and why are they so uh, on demand these days now? Well, nowadays, well, people, a lot more people are getting into vaping and vapor vaping, you know, mods or whatever you want to call them. They tend to take 18650 batteries. Now, I used to charge my 18650 batteries with these little DIY kind of things. I would buy this holder and I would buy these modules here and then just connect them and then they charge. However, they're not very fast at charging and they could take some quite a bit of time. Now, uh, this is how I used to do it until something came out from ISDT, which is this guy right here. Now, this guy is pretty cool, actually. Um, I've actually been wanting to get one, but I had no idea what to get. But ISDT just released this actually not too long ago. This is just so cool. Check this out. I just go ahead and grab a battery. Now, this charges many types of battery. Nickel metal hydride, double AA, A, triple A, 18650. Uh... 26650 batteries it's just insane so you could charge eight two 18650s at the same time because those are the only two so all you got to do is you just actually plug it in it'll actually detect it's 18650 give you a couple seconds and it'll just start charging immediately by itself as you can see here it just started charging it also has charging discharging uh, i could charge up to three amps uh but i highly re recommend you don't do that on 18650s if you don't trust them it also takes temperature reading. It takes, you know, as you can see right there, the amount of resistance. Uh, it has cycle options, which means it'll. you could set, like, let's just say I wanted to run five cycles on this battery. It'll charge it, discharge it, charge it, discharge it five times. It's just pretty awesome. Now, let's just take a look here. And if we could go up to charge. So, as you can see, here's the types of batteries that it could charge. Lithium ion, life flow, LIV, nickel metal hydride. This one, that one, this one. As you can see, it just has a lot of little options, which is pretty cool. And if we take a look here, we have charge, discharge, you even have storage, cycle, is what I was talking about. Analysis, it'll just take some readings about it. And uh, activation, I have no idea what activation is. I've just seen it right now. So we have to check that. I'll check on that, but I'm not going to be needing it. All I need is discharge charge, and that's really it. The user friendliness is pretty cool because you could just hold this. You don't have to keep pressing it. So I really like that. So it's just one amp, start, and it charges. So if you wanted to access the main, main menu, what you have to do is remove the battery, and you have to hold this guy right there, and you get all these settings here. And you could actually even connect this to your PC and even use the USB charger. So there is a little micro USB right there on top of the USB, which you connect it to your PC and run software uh, upgrades on this, which is pretty cool. So they have that all nice and set for you. And uh, here you got your menu system information, just tells you about the stuff here. Factory settings. Okay, just reset everything to factory settings here. Uh, language, it has Dutch, which is German, French, Spanish, and Russian. Volume. I like it off. I just kept it on for you guys so you guys seen it. Uh, the backlight, high. You got low. I'll keep it high. Capacity limit is on. Auto charge, three seconds. That means once you put in any battery, uh, after three seconds, it'll automatically start charging. So you can turn that off or you can set that between off three seconds and five seconds. I want it on three seconds. Cycle display. Uh, it'll just, you know, cycle through the different kind of displays while it's charging or doing something. So that's pretty cool, and that's really it. So it's just an awesome little charger, so it really beats this guy for me. Um, I just could go real quick and just plug these guys in, and I'm good to go. And it, it does have reverse protection. So as you can see, I already started charging that one. And now it's going to start charging the below one here, and it just started charging. And you can hear, and yeah, this thing also has a fan. I don't know if you can hear it. Let me see. Right there, possibly you heard that. But um, overall, you know, I just I just really like this. I really do. And here you can check between both of the batteries. So the bottom one's obviously the bottom one here. The top one's obviously the top one here. So it's just an awesome little little charger here. I really like it. But it's kind of ironic how they call it a C4, um, uh, because you know <laughs> something explodes. I mean, this is just you know it's. Yeah, it's very dangerous. So, uh, the manual states that you should never leave it unsupervised, and I do highly recommend you leave it unsupervised. I never leave the room uh, on any of my chargers. I'm always sitting next to them, touching them, monitoring the temperature, 
Um, I just I just don't trust chargers and batteries. That's it. Nothing's ever happened to me before. One time, almost something happened. One of my batteries kind of got hot and was ex- uh, just expanding. It was a lithium uh, polymer. It was a lipo. And um, yeah, I just never leave these guys alone ever. Um, so take that into consideration. Not that I don't trust the charger or the, I don't trust the batteries. That's it. It's plain and simple. Um, you know, there's always p- mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes. Even c- computers make mistakes. So overall, this is a nice little charger. It's a nice little vape charger. And I do have more projects to come with 18650 batteries and solar panels. So this is also a reason why I picked one of these up because I just thought it was going to be super awesome here for us. And, um, and that's really it. I just wanted to make a quick video about this and uh, see what you guys think. Uh, so overall, that's really it, guys. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to join my Patreon. We're doing some awesome giveaways this month. You can always use the links down below. Those greatly support the channel and enable me to bring more components in for testing. And don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care. <laughs>